Hi guys, this is Coach Chris checking back in today. I just wanted to talk to you for a few minutes about my next blog post about uh, worrying, really. It's something that we all do to some extent and a little bit of worry is definitely healthy. Otherwise, we'd be in a lot more accidents and uh, as would our children and pets. Um, bills wouldn't get paid and we probably would never get insurance on our cars and houses if we didn't worry at least a little bit. But for some people, it can be hugely debilitating. And um, I guess I chose this topic because I grew up uh, living with someone like that, my very own mother. She tells stories of, of being even a small child and worrying about her parents not coming home. And uh, for, for all the, some of the stories are quite funny. Um, hey, Cindy, thanks for watching. And I'll tell you a couple. Okay, for instance, this is my mother and her worrying. When my sister was a teenager, probably mid-teens, she went to the movie theater one day with some friends. Hey, Tina, thanks for checking in. And uh, she was probably 15, 16 at the time. My mother got a phone call from one of the girls she was supposed to be going to the theater with. And this girl said, hey, is Stacy there? And my mother said, no, I thought she was at the theater with you. And, uh, hey, Cheryl. And Jody says, no, I'm at the theater and I haven't seen her. So my mother jumps in her car, drives into town. Now, we were five miles out of town in the country. She takes a flashlight and goes up and down the aisles in the theater looking for my sister until she found her. So it turned out my sister had been there with uh, with friends and just had met up with that particular girl. But that's what she did because she was worried. There was another time where my sister didn't come home. There was a thunder and lightning storm. She drove an hour out of town up and down these dirt roads looking for my sister during a thunder and lightning storm. And it turned out that she had just fallen asleep at a friend's house. That's the kind of stuff that my mother has done. So, um, so it is a big deal for some people and she's gone so far as to say that if she ever gets reincarnated, she hopes that God sends her back as somebody who doesn't worry. Um, but you know what, worry is very close to fear. Fear, uh, they're, they're, they're definitely brothers. And for as much as I, I don't worry much, I think I am fearful, especially of trying new things of uh, going out of my own with this business, of even recording this live video. I find it pretty tough. But if we don't face our fears, recognize that they exist, just like our worries, and learn to live with them and move past them, what are we gonna accomplish with our lives? So anyway, thank you for taking the time to listen to this. I hope you check out my blog. I list a few suggestions there as to some strategies how to deal with worrying and uh, I just encourage everybody to face their worries and face their fears and set some BHAGs, some big hairy audacious goals, uh, especially as you start to age and realize, hey, if I'm going to get stuff done, I've got to get it done before I need a cane, then this might be the time to, uh, to do that, to set some goals break them down and face your worries and move on. Thank you everybody for watching and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. It's Coach Chris checking out.